First half, I thought Dover excellent, and if anything, Dover were going to go and go on and score three or four. Yeah, we said like we had a committee and we had to make uh, make sure we kept the, the the fans quiet, and we did that. We did it in a, in a real good manner, you know. We played some really good uh, football. Uh, we were unlucky really to go in two now. We could have went in three now at half time, but. Uh, Obviously, come out the second half, we said again, keep it uh, try, uh, quiet again, and uh, we did. But then, obviously, 60 odd minutes into it, it gives that decision which changes the whole momentum of the game. And uh, <coughs> listen, we're disappointed. Um, we look at the results, um, it's just a missed opportunity because obviously a lot of the teams lost down there and uh, we could have maybe pulled, pulled clear again. I didn't get a good view of the penalties where where I, where I was. Did you get a decent view? And, and, and did you think, you know, again on both of them, did you think? Yeah, the, the second one we were obviously right behind him. You can clearly see um, Andy Jeffrey he wins the ball, and um, there's even the lad, um, their, their player, I think Jim, Jim it was. He said it was outside the box if it was a foul. So for me, like I say, he's, he's got that one wrong, and uh, it's cost us. And again, the third one was obviously we're, we're going for the win, and obviously. Um, in he's, uh, in he's cut in, he's made a great strike, good save by the goalkeeper and obviously got done on a counter-attack. What do you think that does for, for, the, for the confidence of the lads? Um, obviously, we, they're very low at the minute, we have to regroup, get, get the boys uh, back in together again on Monday and uh, we've got a, the good thing about it, we've got a game against uh, Boreham Wood on, on Tuesday. So, again, it's another game that they're around us, we need to go and um, really produce our first half performance, especially at home. If we can do that, I think we'll, um, we'll win the game. And uh, uh, there, there, There's a crumb of comfort that the teams below Dover, rather than Maystone, and, and, and some of the teams above Dover, lost. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's a lot of games. You know, we've got nine games. We need three or four wins to to, to get that. But um, obviously, to let a, a, a win go in in in, a, in the fashion we did today is disappointing. And uh, all the boys are really, uh, like I say, gutted. Um, but like I say, we we go again on Tuesday and we we try and try and get that win again. Are there any question marks on on the game management side of it? Uh, uh, all right, granted, the, the two penalties were questionable, but right at the end to lose 3-2 is there a question mark on that part from your point of view not really I think um, maybe the first one maybe uh, I think we had three, three midfielders maybe got wrong side of the ball um, but like I say it's, it's one of them where you want to take you want to take a point but the there was an opportunity there to take three points. I think the biggest thing is, I think the boys felt on just that the penalties were there and I want to go and get the, go and get the win. And um, in some respects, you can t- you can take that, but we really need to um, maybe maybe look at the last three four minutes and, and just see the game out for a point. But in fairness to them, they're, they're pushing for the win as well. It's a difficult difficult place to come, difficult conditions. The wind was uh, on their back second half and. Uh, they, they got the, the winning goal at the end, which was obviously good. And it must be unsettling for the lads. I said to concede two penalties <laughs> within minutes of each other <laughs> must have must have really. I, I don't know. It must have been a shock to the system uh, as a player. Yeah, it's not easy, is it? And um, <clears throat> like I say, it's, I feel sorry for Wogs and all gone in there and. Uh, is that is that the first two penalties? But it shouldn't really have had to because it's the wrong decisions in our mind. And uh, obviously the gaffer has been in there with the referee, finding out what um, for the reasons and uh, for the penalties because we need to know that. We need to know that so we can speak to the players and we need to know that as a management team to to find out what is what is uh, far to it. Next up, it's Boreham Wood, the first of two very important home games, and you must be glad that you've got a game so quickly after today. Yeah, it's like you said earlier in the interview, right? where well, we are, you know, and uh, we've got two two winnable games. Uh, ever, and, and can we can we come out with two back to back wins? Yes, we can if we do it in the right way. We've got we've got the talent, we've got the squad. We just need to back it up, now, you know. And we've got to take the positives out of that first half performance. Well, positives right up to 60 minutes, in fairness, you know. Even even when they got the uh, the third goal, I think we had like to say, a good chance with uh, in the F Young and. Um, they keep made a couple of good saves. So I think one from Kevin Locker as well, header back stick. So the chances are there. We're just going to need to see the game out. Excellent. Well, thank you, Nicky.